Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up the Amazon Echo Dot fourth generation out of the box. So to take a look at the instruction manual, it doesn't go into that much depth, but I'll be taking you through all the steps in this video to get you set up and ready to go. Just simply to get to know your Echo Dot, we have four buttons on the top. This is going to be the action button, the circle, then you have plus and minus, and those are going to be for volume up and volume down. And then also you have a button here to mute the Echo Dot fourth generation. That's gonna deactivate the microphone when you click that particular button. And then of course, to reactivate it, you just click that button again. So those are the four buttons on top. And then other than that, on the back, we have an area to plug in the power cord. And there's also a headphone jack here so you can plug into speakers, for instance, something like that. So they have a three-step process here, basically downloading the Amazon Alexa app on your phone. And step number three is going to be setting up the device itself through that Alexa app. And I'll take you over to my phone and walk you through the steps on how to do that. But first, what we're going to do is plug in the Echo Dot fourth generation. So we're going to take the power cord here. And one side, we're going to plug into the wall. And the other side, we're going to plug in to the back of our device. And it's going to be this larger one is for the power cord, the one that's over on the left-hand side. I guess it depends on what side you're looking from because on this side, it would be on the right-hand side. But if you have it facing you, then it's going to be over on the left-hand side. And then we're going to get this blue ring that is moving around on our fourth generation Echo Dot. And then it says Alexa will greet you and let you know to complete setup in the Alexa app. And this will take roughly around a minute or so for your device to get to that point where it starts talking to you and asks you to set things up. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app, bringing your device online. Just a moment. Your Echo is ready. So guys, since I've set up Amazon devices in the past, it actually automatically set up the device for me, but I'm gonna show you how to do this if you have not already set up things on the Alexa app in the past. So for that next step, I'll take you over to my phone. All right, guys, so over on my phone, you can see I have the Amazon Alexa application, and you can get this over at the Google Play Store. If you're on Apple, it's gonna be over in the Apple App Store that you download those apps from. So I'm gonna open up the Play Store. And then in the top search bar area, type in Alexa app. And then once you're over in the Alexa app page, what you're gonna do is download it from this area. I already have it downloaded, so it's asking if I wanna open it from this page. But again, you're just gonna to wanna to download that Amazon Alexa application if this is the first device that you're setting up with Amazon Alexa. Now going back to my home screen, now if you don't get an app icon that automatically pops up, you should also be able to drag up the bottom screen of your device. And if it's in alphabetical order, the Amazon Alexa app should show up right towards the top of this list. When you pull up from the bottom of the screen, it's going to show you an area that has all of the applications that are on your phone. So that's another way that you can find it. Now for me, since it was doing an automatic setup, it actually shows me a notification in my top bar area. When I drag down the top of my screen, there's this notification from Amazon Alexa that I got and it says complete Echo setup. Your Echo is almost ready. Tap to complete setup. So you can do that if you're in the same situation as me, just tap that area. But I'm gonna try to take you through a more manual approach to this for those that are having their first time setting this up through the Amazon Alexa app. So now we're gonna launch that Alexa application by clicking on it. And it gives us a notification right in this top area to finish Echo Dot Setup. But again, if this is your first time using this application, it's going to prompt you to log in using your Amazon account. If you don't have an Amazon account, it will also give you the opportunity to set up an account with your Amazon Alexa application. And if you're not prompted to set up your device automatically like it is for me right there at the top where it says finish Echo Dot Setup, what you can do to set this up manually is go down into the bottom right hand corner and click where it says more. And then you can click the little plus sign that says add a device. And this is going to be Amazon Echo. So that's what I'm going to click right there on that icon. And this is going to be an Echo Dot. So I'm going to select that area. And then it says, is your Echo plugged in and is it in setup mode? And mine is in setup mode. It has that orange light circling around the device. So I'm going to click yes. 
And if you're having an issue where you're not getting that orange light to circle around your Echo device, you can also hold down the action button that's towards the back of your Echo Dot fourth generation. And after you hold that button down for a while, eventually it will go into setup mode. So again, I'm gonna be clicking yes in this area. And then it says select your Amazon Echo and it shows up in my available devices. So I'm gonna click on it. Then it says select your Wi-Fi network and it's gonna scan for the wireless routers that are in your general vicinity. And for me, it's gonna be XFi 22. And then it says connecting your Echo Dot to Wi-Fi. Make sure your device is nearby, plugged in and in pairing mode. And eventually, as long as everything is hooked up properly, it should finally connect to the internet, your Wi-Fi wireless internet connection. And so we're gonna go ahead and click continue. And then it's asking which room is your Echo Dot in. For me, it's going to be in the living room and then click continue. And now it's gonna take us through some different options here. So it says teach Alexa your voice. You can do this by clicking continue. So then it just created my voice profile. So now I can go ahead and click next. And then it's gonna ask you for your personal home address. So you can click one that's on file with your Amazon account or you can manually type one in if you wanna do that. And then it's giving me the option if I want to, to enable the sidewalk feature. I'm going to click later on that. And here it's offering a 30-day free trial to Amazon Music. I'm going to say no thanks to that. And same thing with Audible. No, I'm going to say no thanks to that. Now it says setup complete. You're ready to start talking to your Amazon Echo device. To learn more about what you can say, visit things to try from settings. So then I'm going to go ahead and click done. And we're good to go at this point. So your Amazon Echo Dot is going to start talking to you to walk you through some different tutorial options to familiarize yourself with the device so you can do that at this point. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.